Welcome back guys, it's Jason with your Hopium Free Crypto channel. Today we're doing an update of Bitcoin and Ethereum and checking out the Fear and Greed Index plan. If you haven't seen that, make sure you stick around for the plan. We are buying with the whales. We're going to have a look at uh, a whale address here that has bought Bitcoin in this same region. So if you haven't already, make sure you hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, bell notification icon, then hit all. I'll wait for you hit to hit the like button. It does go a very long way to helping out the channel. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter, daily Q&As and crypto updates. Plus, there's a special on the Investor Accelerator. You can find a link to that in the description down below. Let's dive into the charts and the figures. First up, cryptocurrency market caps, $1.36 trillion. If you've been following for a while, you know we've been looking at the halfway point, the $1.33 trillion and of course $1.28 trillion. So there's a couple of 50% zones. We've gone through that. We'll have a look in just a sec. Uh, those are giving us a readings of the strength of the market. All right. And we've been looking at it every single day. You might be getting sick of me talking about it, but that is what I cover every day in my own analysis. Where is the market? Strong or weak? Bitcoin, 33,400. Very nice little bump overnight. 24 hours, 3.5%. And Ethereum has done about a percent better than Bitcoin. So anything under the 3% means Bitcoin is outpacing it. And you might be familiar now during the stage, the first stages of a Bitcoin or a cryptocurrency bull market, Bitcoin generally outpaces most of the altcoins, which is why I haven't been buying a lot of altcoins, uh, only a very select few. Ethereum is one of those. And uh, the rest of them I am waiting because I believe Bitcoin will leave them for dead in the first section. And then there will come a time to be buying some alts. At the moment, it is proving that Bitcoin is uh, in front of most of the altcoins on a long-term scale at the moment. So uh, the rest of the cryptos, not much has happened here. Um, stuff that has gone down heavily has bounced back heavily, something like Matic. So it's a little more uh, volatile. And uh, that's pretty much rounds out the top 20. Let's have a look at the Bitcoin chart and the 50% level, which I was referencing yesterday on Twitter. 33,000 was the target. And fortunately, the day has closed above 33,000, coming out at 33,700, 684, call it 700. The only thing I'm concerned about here is the lowering volume as the market has moved up. We had one good volume day. The low was reasonable compared to the last uh, two to three weeks, but the day that we had the push was the strongest volume so far. And then we just have not seen a strong volume follow through. Does it mean we'll fail and go back beneath 29 grand? No, I don't know but it doesn't mean that it has to happen. It could just mean that we start to settle back again and test some higher lows at around the $31,000 level, which has been a slight support level throughout the last several months, a pretty strong support level actually. And to break through that is a good sign. So maybe we wanna come back and test that level. Uh, we'll wait and see. But the, the good news is we have been moving up. Remember, Bitcoin is the king at the moment. So next level. We just move this back to our next top. So this is like slightly like a moving average. We want to get a gauge on the market. My next level is 35,300-ish. So I've got some alerts waiting to see that break. And you can see just easily on the chart, naked eye, you can see these tops coming in. Uh, we've got another one here which broke above, got to 36, but then quickly fell underneath again. Tried it, closed underneath. If you want it on candles to see that, you can see the wicks came to it, we closed underneath, the bodies came to it, we closed underneath, and then we just have not got back to those levels. Got a couple of wicks up there as well. So 36 looks like a pretty strong level at the moment. So we want to definitely break through that. And then we just start to stair step our way out of the lows. Obviously, my preference is to see this done on volume because volume is the lifeblood. I want to see it on volume. Otherwise, it just seems a little bit of a weak rally. We have seen weak rallies in the past go... 50 60 percent just like we saw back in 2019 after the market ran up really hot so you check out these lows there's a 30 percent move from this low we've got a 40 percent move and then from these major lows we got a 60 percent move and the market still fell on each of these occasions i've only really seen one of these moves so far and that was from the may low and that percentage move was about 36%. So even if we got another move up and started to break these highs, I'd want to see some volume come into the market to give some strength. 
Okay, so there is the possibility of this happening again. That's why I still remain cautious and I know I sound like I'm coming across like a bear and everything's doom and gloom, but I just remain cautious because there is the possibility of this happening until we see further signs of consolidation and then breakouts. So the whale addresses that a buying Bitcoin in the low 30s, mysterious Bitcoin whale who sold at 60 grand bought over 17,000 Bitcoin between 30 and 39 grand. So you might be thinking, well, how does that work? How do I go from being so bearish on the price to then so bullish saying, oh, we bought it at this price? The idea here as an investor, and you don't have to just take it from me, go and see any long-term investor. They are looking at both sides of the market. They have an idea. They have a uh, plan for both directions. If you're not planning for both directions, you might as well be with the plankton and getting chewed alive with your belief that you know this thing is just going to go to 60 grand or 100 grand in the next couple of months. Or you just need to be prepared in case the market goes the opposite direction. And that's why I look at both directions, and I also buy in the lower regions, looking at our crypto fear and greed plan. So before we get to that, this article shows all of the addresses where they're buying, how, where it's moving to. According to this, uh, the whale, according to Bit Info Charts, the whale entity has been quietly accumulating BTC between 30 and 39 grand after selling uh, between 54 and 63. So I'm not going to say I was as smart to be selling it all up here because I personally am not selling my Bitcoin just yet. I'm waiting for the six figures. But we were consolidating and getting out of altcoin positions, especially on this May uh, April drop, and then again on these May highs. All the receipts are on the channel. Specifically, that May was really wrong. A lot of major channels were talking about Bitcoin to 80 grand, 100 grand, 75 grand. I was very persistent that I was waiting for this day to break at 60 and a half thousand. So, although I wasn't selling the Bitcoin, I was consolidating those positions. And you guys, if you're following, you're following along as well and reasons why. So, that's part of the whale journey here. Buying the bottoms, you can see that all through here. To date, to this day, this address continues to accumulate BTC in the low $30,000 range. The majority of the BTC was bought between 30 and 36. Was the average 35,000? Was the average 31? I don't have an answer here, but the address has accumulated 17,693 worth this much at today's prices. So if you wanted to, you could probably go back through the maths and figure that exact figure out, but let's just call it somewhere in the middle, 30 to 36, somewhere around 33 grand. Fear and greed, 23 today, 21 yesterday, uh, last week 22. So the only time we've really bought is when the market is at 15 or under, and that has been on the 17th of July and the 21st of July. So to our plan. We have 12 purchases. I'm using $1,000 at each purchase. The average that we get is around $34,000. You can see it's a net uh, 0.25 positive. So it's around 33,900, but let's just call it 34,000. So that in itself is the same region that the whale at this particular address has been purchasing. And the total is now worth half a billion dollars worth of Bitcoin at those regions, which we're also buying. Remember, I'm also looking at the downside. So if we get a break beneath the, beneath the $29,000 or $30,000 level, we still have funds to be able to keep purchasing Bitcoin on the way down as well. Then there's also the other option for some people who don't have the funds. There's a sell option if you get a break of the major support and then you wait to rebuy again at lower prices. So there are a couple of the options for the plan. 34,000, I mean, the current price is around 33,700, so that would give us a reading of negative 0.6. We're doing pretty well compared to the market. That's that's the great thing about having a plan because you can still have a bearish outlook on the market, but this is forcing you to buy some of the lows just in case you're wrong. So that's what an investor or a trader will look at. If Even if they think they're wrong, they're, they're following the plan that has shown in the past to work okay. Remember, this is not a full, complete plan. You still need to get uh, other entry triggers. You need to get some filters on triggers. You need to get exit triggers for profits and for losses. We're sort of coming up with one here for a loss if you wanted to sell out at um, support zones. Uh, so they're all the things that are needed to build out and develop the plan. Myself, I've got um, GAN and Wyckoff rules, which you can find if you're a TIA member, we talk about those in the group. And as I said, there's a um, special on the Investor Accelerator. Link to that's down below. Uh, and that just goes a little bit further into filters and signals. 
let's have a look at Ethereum, another update. I've got my 50% level in mind, so around a 5% value of Bitcoin. I'm still quite comfortable with that. That's a nice balanced view. Uh, if Ethereum happens to fall, it did hit its major 50% on the bull run up. That's at around 8%, so 0.079, call it 8%. That's a level that I would expect a market to find some resistance. 50% zones, resistance, support, good ways to figure out what the market might do next. Ethereum USD, although we've had a move up, this is a weekly chart looking at a macro view, not worrying about the daily at the moment, 12% up on the weekly. There's still not that much volume coming in. However, this week is shaping up. We've got two more days left. It's shaping up to have stronger volume than the last two weeks, maybe three weeks as well, which is a good sign for a market that's been down for a few months now. So we'll keep tracking that. Relative unrealized profit and loss. Now, this is something that has helped purchase Bitcoin at low. So in the capitulation zone, the one thing I want to bring up here is that it looks like the, the highs are getting lower every time we come back for a new Bitcoin bull cycle and the lows are getting higher every time we come back or every time we drop from a high. So if I'm using this on my plan, maybe we only come back into this hope and fear zone and that might have to then be a purchase zone if I was using this. I might go into it in more detail in future videos. Let me know in the comments if you want to go into this in more detail because this could be an addition to the crypto fear and greed and of course our purchasing plan as well. Uh, but that's the one thing I do note. There is a lot more extremes earlier on in Bitcoin's price history and then as it gets older, the lows are getting higher and the highs are getting lower. So we're getting less volatility. That's exactly what it's showing here. And lastly, Bitcoin payments for real estate gain traction as crypto holders seek monetization. Great, we're gonna see more companies try to incorporate Bitcoin payments. Is this a tomorrow thing? No. Is it during the next stage of the property, the real estate cycle? Yes. Will this hold the market up potentially during the next stage? Should we get a fall? Maybe we don't fall 95% or 85% for Bitcoin. Maybe we only start to fall 75% as the market volatility decreases, which I happen to believe is the case, especially with something like relative uh, unrealized profit and loss. I mean, it's just showing signs across the board that the, the volatility is decreasing, especially for Bitcoin. Finally, a reminder of path to alt season. Are we there yet? I don't think so. I think we're probably somewhere we're trying to get to phase one, Bitcoin. Flow of money moves into Bitcoin, causing the prices price of Bitcoin to increase. So if that's the case, I don't expect all of these to happen at the, at the one time. But as Bitcoin becomes bigger, uh, I do expect some of the altcoins maybe to decouple from the Bitcoin cycle. I don't think we're there just yet, but I'm obviously going to keep my eye out for that in the coming cycles. So I'm going to keep focusing on this Bitcoin flow of money. That's what I see happening now. That's why I've been focusing primarily on Bitcoin and other crypt major cryptos, which are holding up in their Bitcoin value, their Bitcoin pairing. Um, they're the ones that I'll be focusing mostly on, not the stuff that is still tanking 70, 80, 90% against their Bitcoin value. So that's my update for Bitcoin, Ethereum, the whales buying the price zone that they've been buying, the price zone that we've been buying, we haven't done too bad on that very, very simple fear and greed index plan, unfinished plan, I might add. Uh, so there's a bit of work to do there. Make sure you go off and do that and hit that like button down below, bell notification icon after you've hit the subscribe button. Does go a long way to helping out the channel. Uh, let's get it to 200,000. I'll see you on crypto Twitter and Instagram. Links are down below. And last reminder, there is a special on the Investor Accelerator. Find that in the description down below. I'll see you guys at the next video. Until then, have more fun to get more done.